Amy, can we bring some of your personal drama in onto the radio right now? What? Your microwave <laughs> issues have been <laughs> unfortunate. Would you please let the listeners of KFGO know where you are in your microwave journey right now? <laughs> um but the microwave has been a hot topic of conversation in this building for many reasons other than myself. Right. It's we been started very microwave heavy today. Jack Michaels, as he walks by the studio right now, he is the one who started us talking about microwaves in this first place. And we can get to the atrocities of what we saw this morning. That's fine. But we, we're we just, you know, we can't keep a microwave alive in our house. I'm not really sure. The plants are doing fine. The microwave, not so much. We... They had just bought a new microwave probably four or five years ago. Mm-hmm. And then our other oh, microwave. After a lot of research. After a lot of research. A ton of research. Like, you know, buying the consumer reports, logins, and getting all the stuff. And then realizing that doesn't really help because microwaves turn over so quickly. And this is why they turn over so quickly is because they're garbage. So we bought one four or five years ago. It, our other microwave goes out right before Christmas. We don't get a new microwave until the end of January, mm. which is a long time. It's I learned. A very long I, time. I learned how to warm things up without a microwave. Yeah. Like I can, you give me an item, I'll tell you the best way to warm it up without a microwave. Boom, okay? she's making it happen. Yeah. I mean, there's so many more dishes because of that. You want to warm up tater tot hot dish? You'd think maybe put it back in the oven. Don't put it back in the oven. Throw it in a frying pan. Oh, there It'll you go. It'll be so much quicker. So anyway, and now we have to return. So we just got one at the end of January. Now we're having to return it again. It's fine. It was something about the mounting piece or how Mm -hmm. it was mounted. It was literally sagging, like something, something happened with the pieces that they gave us to mount it. And so now we're back to another. Yeah, now we're back to a hole in our wall again. You've inspired me to start a new business. And so uh, (laughs) the launch of this business is happening right now. Okay. And um, I just, uh, here here, here we go with it, right? Uh, Hello, radio personality and former hot dog eating champion, JJ Gordon here. How many times have you been craving a piece of leftover meatloaf or need to give your cup of coffee a warm up and bam, the microwave is out. Microwave repair can take weeks, and finding a quality replacement can be a huge headache. No more worrying about power settings or whether that plate is spinning or not. At J.J. Gordon's Microwave Rental and Timeshares, you'll be taken care of. (laughs) Our high-quality microwaves are perfect for divorced men, construction sites, anyone that uses their garage during the nice weather. Commitment is never an issue when it comes to microwaves. Take my word for it. And hear from our previous clients. I use JJ's microwave rentals and timeshares when my microwave bit the dust. His crew was professional and followed the agreed-upon install time. I will definitely use them again. I do not support timeshares, though. Are you opening up an illegal pop-up restaurant? Don't worry. We can help. (laughs) Our microwaves all come with a 25-foot extension cord, so no one's going to tell you where you're going to warm up that piece of pizza. (laughs) Could you get a more reliable microwave? Yes. Are we days away from shutting our doors? Of course. But you're not looking to find someone who is passionate about cooking on a microwave. Don't look any further. You found me. I'm J.J. Gordon. Let's hear from another satisfied customer. When the microwave went out on my RV, I thought, great, another big ticket item to replace. Then someone mentioned J.J.'s microwave rentals and timeshares. I called them up because they don't have a website, and they hooked me up with a really nice microwave. I warmed up a lot of deer sausage on that trip. Definitely recommend. So what are you waiting for? (laughs) Call now for a microwave rental. When you call, make sure to ask for Dave. They know what you're going to talk. They know what you're talking about. JJ's microwave rental and timeshares. Let's warm up your food. (laughs) So I'm starting a brand new business. This is ridiculous. (laughs) How exactly, JJ or Dave, is it? (laughs) Well, they're they're just like, you're going to call and they're going to pick up and it's a different business, but you're going to ask for Dave. They'll know what you're talking about. They'll know what you're talking about. And then how does this microwave show up? I'm sorry, did I miss that in the copy? Oh, we've got a team of dedicated delivery people that will help you out. What does it show up on? Well, it's going to show up in a box. It's an old box from a set of golf clubs. Okay. (laughs) But that's just because you don't want your neighbors knowing that you've got a high-quality microwave rental. 
they'll be over with all of their food right. wanting to nuke it in your own home. Right. So we know that subterfuge is very important when this renting is, a microwave. This is just renting. Yeah. You no know, no long term purchase required. Rates? Yes, indeed. <laughs> We've got weekend hourly. We've got a graduation package that we're working on right now. <laughs> we also have really large microwaves. So if you're worried about how big of an item you can put in there, don't worry. Do you remember the days of when you would put a, a CDR in a microwave just to watch it spark? These are not just for warming up food. They're also for entertainment <laughs> and experiments. <laughs> JJ. <laughs> JJ's microwave rental and timeshares. <laughs> Call now. Experiments? They're also for experiments. Yeah. You're not getting any of these back. Let me ask you something. Are you experimenting with your permanent microwave? I don't think so. <laughs> and none of them have anything that's hard to deal with. All uh, dials. It's just dials. So you're not having nice, to worry. Nice. Do I push cook time? What do I push enter? Nope. It's just a straight up dial. Nice. Yeah. I love this. Mm -hmm. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. Someone said, JJ, you're literally a genius. You have no idea how many times I could have used a rental microwave. Right. <laughs> well, he knows how many times his former partner, apparently, Amy, Listen, could have used a rental microwave. I, you inspired this yes. 100%. Yeah. And so I'm going to give you a free timeshare weekend Thank in St. Louis <laughs> just to enjoy that, which is really big right now post-Super Bowl. I can't wait. Yeah. <laughs> I think you're really going to dig wait. it. You'll have a great time. This is going to be awesome. Where were you like um, two months ago? Well, at that point, not I was, feeling inspired yet. Right, I was. I really thought the hot thing was going to be rentable ovens, mm. but nobody needs a rentable oven. They can just build a fire. Right, right, you right. Know, cook just, over a fire, and so. But microwaves, no one's really cracked how to do that technology yet. <laughs> Someone said, is this an over-the-range microwave? Yes, it is. They suck. We had a problem also, and my husband finally just bought a fifty-dollar one from Menards for over the counter. We've had it for five plus years and still going strong. Uh, have you noticed how? Okay, we have two microwaves we in our break do. room, one on top of the other. And I actually today, for the first time ever, saw someone <laughs> use the top microwave, which is smaller. And but I should we to myself, tell them what we what they were using it for? Absolutely. Okay, so this is the other microwave drama at KFGO. Not only does Amy consistently not have a microwave, which is a problem when you have kids because you like to use the microwave to warm things up so you can cool them down again. The thing with kids is that you warm it up in the microwave and then you put it in the freezer. It makes no sense at all. I don't even no, know why There's no in-between like no <laughs> molten lava and frozen. There's no in-between. There's no in-between. There's no in-between. The minute you microwave something for a child, it's too hot, and then you're putting it in the freezer and the fridge to cool it down. So I don't even know why we use it anyway. Um, that was so funny. Uh, microwave commercial, too funny. Seriously, Amy, very nearly the same thing happened to us. Same one for like 15 years, then three new ones in three years. We finally got the Menards bread. Oh my gosh, everyone's getting that one. It has lasted two years and counting. I love the settings and the locations of the buttons. Well, where were you? I think we already ordered the same one now again. Where were you this morning? I needed you people earlier today. Just with different mounting brackets? Yeah, yeah. It was like the screws were stripped or something that oh, came with it. Oh, that's unfortunate. Or, um, the ones that were built into the microwave were stripped. Does that make sense? Oh yeah, absolutely. Okay, doesn't make a lot of sense to me because I'm not the one who is trying to mount it. But my husband and finding said, the exact same size of screw not going to happen. Not going to happen. It was something something that was built into the microwave mm -hmm. was stripped and so mounting it was like so nearly you, yeah, impossible. Yeah, so you couldn't screw into the actual microwave. It would right. just pop out and you don't want It over was your... sagging, I guess. Mm, yeah, no so, thank yeah, you. So yeah, no, that's not that's not a good sign. Um I don't know where we were going with this now. Uh, just so you know we are offering a deal right now with two for <laughs> one uh zip ties as well. <laughs> so if you decide you'd Perfect. like that when we show up, we'll go for it. <laughs> Rental microwave would be great for a learning experience, such as microwaving an empty foil bag chip. They turn into mini bags in seconds. That's what I'm saying. I mean, when he threw out there that they were available for experiments, now yeah. we're talking. Uh-huh. Now let's do some stuff, right? You know? The loudest dings in the industry. You won't, I wonder what you we're won't miss <laughs> when your food's done warming up. I wonder what we're signing, though, to get in on these rental microwaves. Long agreements? Cash only. Cash only. Cash only, we'll pick it up every Tuesday. We'll pick it up and change yeah. if you want. <laughs> yeah, if you can pay in nickels, you get a 10% discount. <laughs>